<coughs> and guess what? No notes. Yay. <laughs> Australia has evolved to contain the most unique of all the fauna types in the world. These are macropods, kangaroos and wallaby species found nowhere else in the world. Of course, kangaroos grow to be the largest macropod species in the world. This is a wallaby. This is a black striped wallaby. And there's a whole stack of different wallaby species. You got the black stripes, the rednecks, the pretty faces, and then you've got paddy melons and bedongs. These wallabies are much shorter, stout, quick, and able to get through the undergrowth with rapid transit. Because you've got a little stout body posture, haven't you? And they're cute. You can see why they call her a black striped wallaby. She's got that stunning black stripe. And when they run, they put their little arms out and bolt. <coughs> kangaroos can jump 10 feet high. Well, class, wasn't that video on kangaroos very interesting? While you're watching it, I looked up a very humorous joke. Ready? Ready? What do you call a lazy baby kangaroo? What? A pouch potato? Oh! <laughs> hey, Mr. Benson, where do you get your jokes? The toilet store? Rob, that will be enough from you. <laughs> In this next video, we're going to go up, up, and away with flying phalangers. Here we go. You're such a dork. <laughs> Despite their name, flying squirrels don't actually fly. They glide. Researchers in Missouri continue to learn more about this interesting creature. They have a loose fold of skin that stretches out and supports the squirrel. Flying squirrels use their broad, flat tails to steer. The only mammals that truly fly are bats. Wasn't that video fantastic? Well, uh, this next video is on Tasmanian devils. Mm, enjoy. <laughs> it roams the night, bellowing blood curdling screams in search of dead and dying prey. And when it tears into flesh, it's with some of the most bone crushing jaws on earth. This fiendish fighter may look cute, but its name says it all. The Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> Tasmanian Devils, as their name suggests, can only be found in one place, Tasmania. This Australian island's forests and dense foliage allow a resting devil to lay low by day. But by night, the same landscape becomes a shrieking stalking ground. Tasmanian devils are the kangaroo's crankiest cousin. 
Like most marsupials, they start as tiny specks in their mother's pouch. They don't get as big as their fleet-footed relatives. Tassie devils only reach two feet and weigh just under 30 pounds. But what they lack in size, they make up for in strength. Devil's huge heads hold powerful, crushing jaws, and their bite is even worse than their ear-splitting bark. The Tasmanian devil has the strongest bite force of any living mammal on Earth, capable of ripping through flesh and bone. To date, Tazis have killed no humans, but inadvertent encounters with devils can end in bloodshed. Well, class, wasn't that video fantastic? Actually, while you were watching it, I made up a dance routine regarding this magnificent animal. Now, don't laugh. I mean, it's kind of corny, but here it goes. <laughs> you like? Oh, sweet. Now, uh, Sebastian, I see you have your hand raised. Mr. Benson, I found your dance actually very, very immature and inaccurate. For all you Nimrods who think that that Tasmanian Devil is just a Looney Tunes character, you're wrong! Well, class, it looks like we only have about five minutes left, which will give us time to see our last animal, the koala. Enjoy! Hello there, I'm Clyde. And I'm Ian. And today we're in Australia to study a truly amazing animal, the koala bear. Right. Oh, look, there's a koala right there. Is it true that koalas are the smallest bears? Well, actually, koalas aren't bears at all. They're marsupials related to kangaroos. Get out! It's true. They've got pouches just like kangaroos. That's amazing! Look, there's another koala! Did you know that koalas are nocturnal? Oh, I know what that means. It means they have three eyes. It does not. It means they're active at night, not day. Which is much easier when you've got three eyes. They don't have three eyes. They've got extra furry bums, though. That is true. Koalas have extra thick fur on their hind ends so they can sit in trees for hours and hours without getting sore. I wish I had a furry bum. That's the weirdest thing you've ever said. It's all rushing around the bag. Koalas are really lazy. They can sleep up to 20 hours a day. Hey, Mr. Benson, that guy really knows what he's talking about. And he's pretty handsome. Well, that video on koalas was pretty boring. You get it? Guys, am I not funny? Koalas are boring animals. They don't <laughs> do much. Well, uh, class gets out in a minute, so remember to do chapters 20 through 22. Take notes on marsupials, my favorite animal, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You know, baby, I know you think we can make it all work out. Uh, oh. But I gotta tell it like it is. He broke his arm. Yeah, look cool. And I don't wanna yeah, make this any harder than it needs to be. You don't really need <laughs> it, So cool. That's pretty sweet. Yes. Brian, show your action. Starting one, two, three. Go! Baby, it'll be like, what? I thought you were just That's your reaction. What? <laughs> what? That was cool. <laughs>